A reading from the first book of Kings. The elders of Israel and all the leaders of the tribes, the princes in the ancestral houses of the children of Israel, came to King Solomon in Jerusalem to bring up the ark of the Lord's covenant from the city of David, which is Zion. All the people of Israel assembled before King Solomon during the festival in the month of Ethanim, the seventh month. When all the elders of Israel had arrived, the priests took up the ark. They carried the ark of the Lord and the meeting tent with all the sacred vessels that were in the tent. The priests and Levites carried them. King Solomon and to the entire community of Israel present for the occasion, sacrificed before the ark sheep and oxen, too many to number or count. The priests brought the ark of the covenant of the Lord to its place beneath the wings of the cherubim in the sanctuary, the holy of holies of the temple. The cherubim had their wings spread out over the place of the ark, sheltering the ark and its poles from above. There was nothing in the ark but the two stone tablets which Moses had put there at Horeb when the Lord made a covenant with the children of Israel at their departure from the land of Egypt. When the priests left the holy place, The cloud filled the temple of the Lord so that the priests could no longer minister because of the cloud, since the Lord's glory had filled the temple of the Lord. Then Solomon said, The Lord intends to dwell in the dark cloud. I have truly built you a princely house, a dwelling where you may abide forever. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. The response is, Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Behold, we heard of it in Ephrathah. We found it in the fields of Jar. Let us enter into his dwelling. Let us worship at his footstool. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Advance, O Lord, to your resting place. You and the ark of your majesty, may your priests be clothed with justice. Let your faithful ones shout merrily for joy. For the sake of David, your servant, reject not the plea of your anointed. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After making the crossing to the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to land at Gennesaret and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized him. They scurried about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. Whatever villages or towns or countryside he entered, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak, and as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading comes from 1 Kings 8, 1-7, and 9-13. We hear that the elders of Israel and the leaders of the tribes accompany Solomon as he's bringing the Ark of the Covenant into the new temple, the temple that he's built. Remember, David wanted to build a temple, but God wouldn't permit him. In the book of Samuel, it says that he wouldn't permit him because it seemed he was a bit arrogant. He thought he was doing a favor for God. In the books of Chronicles, it says that he couldn't do it because he had spilled too much blood. For whatever reason, David couldn't build the temple, but he did lay aside supplies so that when Solomon came along, he could build the temple. And Solomon, in fact, did it. Well, they brought the Ark of the Covenant into the temple, and a cloud covered the temple. This is the manifestation of God's presence. Remember the passage that speaks about the Annunciation, that the Holy Spirit will overshadow Mary. That's that same idea that the the Holy Spirit would be like that cloud that covered the temple because in Mary's womb would be the very presence of God. She was the new Ark of the Covenant. 
And the temple was that place where the people could call upon the Lord. It's not really that God dwelt in the temple, even though they use that phrase, but rather God was available to the people in a special way. Jesus is not only present in the tabernacle, he is present there, but he's also present in the poor. He's present in those who are weeping. He's present in our family. He's present in the community. The tabernacle is a very special presence, a very particular presence. And this is a place where we can come into contact with God very easily. It doesn't mean that's the only place that God is present. The Gospel is from Mark 6, 53 to 56. We've heard about how the apostles had gone out and proclaimed the kingdom of God and healed. Now Jesus goes to Gennesaret and he does that same thing. He heals the sick and the people are flocking to him. They want to touch the tassel of his cloak. In other words, they want to touch the least significant of his garments in order to share it somehow in that healing power that he exudes. They recognize that Jesus has the very authority of God and they want to be part of it. Again, that's a call to conversion on our own part. Yes, we go to church. Yes, we participate in Mass. But do we recognize the very authority, the very power of God present? Do we want to touch this, touch the tassel of Jesus' robe so that we might be part of what he's all about? Sometimes it takes a little bit of time by ourselves to remind ourselves of who we're called to be. And may God bless us.